Okay, welcome to episode six. This is the darling little teacup from Debbie D. Thanks, Debbie. It's quite intricate, so this is how I'm going to proceed with it. I decided since there's so many great colors, I was going to use my colored pencils to draw it in. I paid closer attention to the shape of the cup since yesterday. I didn't get that too, too accurately. And so my approach for this was to just draw in in the representative colors the design that I saw on the cup, somewhat simplified. And that's a white charcoal pencil. And I tend to use that more than a white prism color. Okay, so I did simplify a little bit this design on each side. Okay, so let's start painting. My good old gouache palette and a fresh blob of white gouache. And then I'm mixing two different yellows, one which will be um, a hint of a shadow, the shading part of the yellow. So it's yellow ochre with some of the yellow in it and some white. Once again, the, um, the black absorbs so much of the paint or the, the high chroma of it that it takes, I think I do about at least three coats on this. But look how that color pops on the black, how fun. I think I have three more pages of black before, uh, before we get into a different color in this particular sketchbook. These are, um, this paper I used is actually charcoal paper and it's a variety pack so there's all different colors in it. Once again, I used to love just throwing, slinging paint around, and I have really enjoyed doing some of these little detail works. Now, then again, it's a small piece, so it doesn't take as long. But I just really, um, I, I kind of surprised myself that I delight in some of these little details, painting around them. The other thing is I like to leave a little edge of the black uh, showing through, of the background page showing through rather than um, rather than take my paint all the way up to the edge. Okay, here you can see me fill in some of the other details. Uh, 
I think this is the most intricate mug or teacup that I have done yet in this little series. I love this one. As soon as Debbie sent it to me, and I was just waiting to figure out what my plan of attack would be. And it was really, really fun painting this. I have a new camera and it is not disappointing. I think the clarity is much better than what I was using before. So that's exciting. So some people have asked if I ever use gouache straight out of the tube. Uh, I have great success putting it in a palette, and of course I love just having all the colors ready and I don't have to go and detube them. So if I were going to do a very large area and needed to make up plenty of uh, paint, I would probably pull out the tubes. But this method works really well for me. And I've been using gouache for years, so I, it's just something that I'm really familiar and just um, super comfortable with. Took a while though. It's It can be somewhat of a tricky medium, but oh my gosh, just look how that creaminess goes on. Couldn't get funner than that. Okay, so here I'm just putting the, um, just making a little color chart of all the pencils that I'm using. And actually, in a sketchbook, I just think it's so much fun to just see some of the, um, you know, to have your little color palette there. It just kind of enhances the page. I don't take my sketching seriously. This is just pure fun. So, Debbie D., thank you for sending me this picture of your cup. I just love, love, love it. So rather than paint in the green decoration on that, I just used a pencil. It was just so much easier to just get between the yellow paint and the white paint. And then you can see gouache, kind of like acrylic, dries sometimes darker. So I added a few things. Okay, so here I tried a fine liner, didn't like it, pulled out my food a pen and just kind of created my own little squiggle there. Once again, the beauty of mixed media. Just use the tool that will get the job done. So if you turn the food a nib upside down, you get a really nice thin line. And I do have platinum carbon waterproof ink in there. So this was easier than just applying dots with paint. few more little details and see there I go and add another layer on top because the color just absorbs into the black and it's just the nature of gouache too so I like to really up the colors so I use a few coats there you go oh there's one more thing after this There we go. I forgot these wonderful little white dots. So I took some white gouache and some of this De La Rowney, which is essentially white gouache as well. And I have a little stippling device there, utensil, whatever it is. And I probably went overboard on this, but it was such a cute detail on the original cup. So um, once you have the paint out and the stippler, it's like, oh my gosh, I can't stop. So <laughs> I added way more than the original cup had. But what the heck. Yeah, these stipplers are great. There's a small end and a larger end. Well, there you have it. Episode six. There you go. 
Thanks for watching.